by now you are very clear about the concept of tenses. So what is a tense? Tense is about time and verbs change depending on the time of action or state. So we have to look at a verb to understand its tense. Now you have learnt about various kinds of the perfect tenses individually. Today we are going to revise them together and do lots of exercises. So let's get started. We know that the perfect tenses are of three kinds. The past perfect tense, the present perfect tense and the future perfect tense. Now let us revise these with some sentences. So, if I had to use the past perfect tense, I would say, I had eaten my breakfast before I had a bath. Had eaten is formed from the base verb eat. And what is the verb form in this tense? We use had with the past participle form of the base verb. Now if I have to say something in the present perfect tense, I will say, I had just eaten my breakfast. Here, have just eaten is formed from the base verb eat. And what is the verb form in the present perfect tense? We use had or has with the past participle form of the base verb. If I have to use the future perfect tense, I will say, I will have eaten before you come to pick me up. Will have eaten also uses the base verb eat and how is it formed? We use will or shall with have and the past participle form of the base verb. So, in the past perfect tense, we have, I had eaten my breakfast before I had a bath. In the present perfect tense, we have, I have just eaten my breakfast. In the future perfect tense, we have, I will have eaten before you come to pick me up. So the verbs had, have and will have are actually showing us the tense whether it is in the past, present or future and the past participle form eaten which is common in all the three sentences is showing us the completed action. Now let us do some exercises. Identify the tense of the following sentence. She has cleaned her room. Let us first identify the verb. Has cleaned. What does the verb has cleaned show us? It shows us that an action has started in the past and has just completed. It has an effect in the present. So she has cleaned her room is in the present perfect tense. Identify the tense of the underlined verb. The courier came after he had left for office. What is our underlined verb? Had left. So, which tense is used here? Let me give you the hint. It says had. So, this is in the past perfect tense. Identify the tense of the following sentence. The astronauts will have landed on Mars by 2020. It is talking about the future. And what is the verb here? Will have landed. So, can you tell me? Which tense this is in? It is in the future perfect tense. Change the underlined verb 
into its past perfect tense form. Let us read the sentence first. Jim was eating his breakfast when dad came back. Which verb is underlined here? Was eating. And we have to change this verb into its past perfect tense form. Which is the base verb here? Eat. And what is the form of our past perfect tense? Had. With. The past participle. Form of the base verb. So what will it be? Jim had eaten his breakfast when dad came back. Change the following sentence into future perfect tense. By tomorrow evening, my exams will finish. Let us identify the verb first. Will finish. And we have to change this in the future perfect tense form. What is the form of the verb in the future perfect tense? We use will, with, have. And then the past participle form of the base verb. What is the base verb here? Finish. So our sentence will be By tomorrow evening, my exams will have finished. Fill in the blank with the present perfect form of the given verb. The landlord dash down the wall. What is the verb given to us here? Break. And we have to use which verb form? The present perfect form. What is the present perfect form of the verb? The landlord has. We use it with the past participle form of the base verb. What will be the past participle form of break? So it will be the landlord has broken down the wall. So let us revise all our concepts about the perfect tenses. The past perfect tense shows us that an action took place in the past before another action in the past or before a point of time in the past. The present perfect tense shows us that an action has been completed in the past but has an impact or an effect in the present. It also shows that an action has started in the past and has continued Till now, the future perfect tense shows us that an action will be completed in the future before another action in the future or before a particular time in the future. Now, you really need to practice all the three perfect tenses because they are slightly confusing. And as I have always said, practice will make you perfect and will help you master it completely. We shall soon learn about some other tenses. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5,000 amazing lectures across maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, 
performance analysis with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches, and many more, along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So learning at Delta Step is not just fun and easy, it is also rewarding. So register for free now.